To another game cast. I am your host, Top Dot. And today we are down, or sorry, I said down. Today we are going to talk about the downfall of realness and how nowadays throwing a few dollars at something can make the, um, the wrongness of a situation go away. You know, um, got situations out here such as you got people tap dance, you got folks like Steve Harvey out here. You know, when they dug up the old, um, not tweets, but they dug up the old footage of him saying he had danced like a monkey. <clears throat> My fault, y'all. Saying that he had danced like a monkey for like, what, $4 million, something like that. And all that, and essentially he did. He monkey danced his way right up on to, you know, the bigger stage or whatever. Um, I don't believe in all that ritualistic type of crap that they be talking about you got to do in Hollywood and all that to get where the elites are and all, but no, I do believe that some people do sell their souls for a very cheap price just because, you know what I mean? Um, when people such as myself and people like me say anything like have some type of pride about yourself, you know, money's not everything. It's not the root of all things. Uh, you can't pay away in the afterlife. I'm not sure if you can or not, but I'm pretty sure if you can transfer your money to the afterlife then that's something you know unique and weird but I'm pretty sure that's not the case so you can't gain credit here monetarily and then carry that over to the afterlife that's only what I'm assuming and that's what I'm just gathering from what I know about religion and everything else but still you got people out here that is willing to give up everything family members friends um, decency loyalty respect every every aspect of being just a real type of person they willing to get that all up for a few bucks just because it's a few bucks and most people do it socially just because socially it's acceptable now now it's socially acceptable for you to just basically dump your morals for a whole a whole lot of cash and to me that's irritating and I'm I don't like that myself so I'm going against the grain of people that do that. But also, I'm trying to teach people why people like me are going against the grain of that. Like, you got people out here that are basically nitpicking and throwing only certain things into a pot to get a whole genre of people thinking a certain way about a whole nother genre of people. And it's okay because you could just throw money at it and people gonna shut up. No, that's not cool. Because what it's doing is it's depreciating loyalty. It's depreciating the value of having morals. It's depreciating everything that, that's purposeful in life. And everything that you, I guess, supposed to be fighting for. Like respect and honor and dignity and things like that. Your family. Like people are not supposed to be going around here beefing with their family. Like their family is opposed to gang members. But you got people out here that do that. Why? Because... They don't know no better. And they've been programmed to think, hey, your own people are your worst enemies. No, that's not cool. That little saying, you got to watch your enemies, but watch your family closer. And nah, that's the dumbest crap I ever heard in my life. No, you watch your enemies and you make sure that your family is good so they can help if your enemies get too much for you on a solo stage. But not too many people think like that. Why? Because it's not profitable. Plus, you got profit machines out here that are telling these social machines hey forget all of that if we throw a million dollars at you we want you to to go ahead and do some stuff that they used to do on the old fear factor like eat moose moose knuckles something you know but people will do that instantly why because money money that's just the, the the downfall of realness is a price tag so if you are in the category of of downplaying a struggle that people are trying to get over and a plight that people are trying to get over and you're trying to downplay that because I guess you figure that if it don't make you no money then it don't make no sense you know what I'm saying something like that but that 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 hurts the plight of, of folks that are actually trying to get on 
and do something positive on a positive note. But most people don't don't care because it's not profitable to them. And <clears throat> they irritating in so many ways. So you know what I'm saying? This situation with my boy Colin Kaepernick, mad props to him for getting his money. You know, now people trying to say he sold out. I don't see how he sold out. And he's been out of the NFL for three years. He didn't try to get back in because they blackballed him. And basically, it was like, yo, don't let dude back in. You let him back in. We're going to do this, that, and the third. So what, did, what happened? He just got his money another way. He got it healing. But now they saying that he a sellout because he got his money legally. But y'all not saying that Floyd is a sellout when he going to Gucci after everybody telling him like what happened but you know people don't care because it's money oh he got money if it was me I still do the same thing that means you will let these people do you like they did your ancestors and you don't care because of what they personally taking away most of your freedoms anyway they were trying to daily and you basically are giving them the keys to do that and saying it's okay you can go ahead and do that. I'm fine with it. I don't even care. You can go ahead and take all my little freedoms away because you're going to dangle a couple of dollars in front of my face and tell me, hey, one day you can have this. Knowing good and well, that ain't your purpose. So the downfall of realness, man, is people has let people have let their morals get overshrouded by money. And people have let their morals get overshrouded by the injection of, of happiness, the short term injection of happiness, because the long term injection of happiness ain't even got to be an injection. It could just be a plan, but you have to inject something just to take the pain away just a little bit, you know, and let them know, hey, you can have a little bit more of this. Just keep doing what I say. You know what I'm saying? Keep making me more money than I will ever give you. And I give you a little bit. And people are satisfied with that. Me, I'm not one of them people. You got me twisted. You know what I mean? I work for my money. I work hard for whatever I do. And I'm going to try to make mine double, triple, and quadruple. But I'm not going to get my soul up to do it. I'm not going to let nobody else keep making fun of me and talking crazy and, and insinuating certain things about me, my people, my family, my friends. No, I'm not that type of person. I'm going to say something about it. No, I don't have to fight you. I don't have to hate you, but I can let you know that's not cool in my book. And if you come in my direction with it, you're going to get everything that's not that cordial, you know? And that's all I'm saying, y'all. So the downfall of realness, man, is a sad thing, man. Dollar signs. That's the downfall of realness, man. But with that being said, I'm going to get with y'all later. Peace.